Hello everybody, it's the Butter Apple here with another Simpsons Hit and Run tutorial. Now today we're going to be making custom cars. So I got everything I already need here. We're going to be making a Warthog. So first things first, let's get to um, our Simpsons directory. Right here. Here. And mod. And tutorial. Right here. So... In custom files, we're going to make a new one called art, and then a new folder after that called cars. And this is where we're going to drop scorp-v. So we're going to be editing the uh, Globex uh, villain car, I don't remember what it's called perfectly, but that's going to be the car that we're going to be working on. So let's just make this big. And, okay, click it and open it. Now you see here, that's a car, that's the car. Now I need to delete every texture except for two. And the brake flares. I forgot, I forgot that you need the brake flares. So, I, I'm going to open it back up. Like that. Delete, delete, delete. And that's shaders. And every shaders except for two. And if you do delete more than one, just copy and paste it. Paste before. Okay, and now two, you'll need two shaders. Okay, so as you can see, we got this all set up. Now, um, go over to the scorp-v shape and press import model. And go to Warthog. As you can see, it imported fine. Get a warthog in here, and then wheel shape, import model for the wheel. If you go back to the composable drawing, you can see the wheels working fine. And do the same with the wheel dash two import model wheels. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, anything you don't need, just delete. So like. The hoods, the hoods and the doors, you're not going to need. I need that. And, uh, to need that either, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, but also on the composable drawing, you're going to have to delete them too. So, delete that, that, that. That. And there we are, we're good. So now it's time to do texturing. So texturing is easy. -ish. Um up here, rename one of these to windshield or whatever your texture is gonna be, and rename the other one to hull. And I forgot to rename this one, it's actually chain again. Gun. Okay, so import image, chain gun, the hole, import image, hole. This one you have to find hole, hole, and this one you have to find chain gun. Now, since we made our own textures, these should map properly. So, as you can see here, we got the chain gun, which kind of messes it up a bit. I don't know why it messed up. One of those things. And we also have the hole, which worked perfectly. But... And for the wheels, um, make a new texture. Copy this. Paste before. Call it tires. And then copy this. Paste before and call it tires. Import image, tires, go over here to tires, 
uh, scroll up, tires, and now composable drawable, it should look perfect. Should. As you can see, the back tires aren't the same. So we gotta attempt to move them until they are where they should be. So that's that's wheel. Um, let's check it. There's no way. There's no real way to check it. Oh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twelve. Um. Let's just move one of them and see what it does. So, um, X, Y, C, position. Okay, so let's copy this number and make it something totally random. And let's see if it moved. And then moved. Uh, I'd say it's something moved. See the front tire, that's the front tire that moved. So let's put that back into place. Let's see how it looks. Okay. That means we're working on three and four. Three and three, yeah, three and three and two. Uh, I have no idea. So we'll see. Actually no, that's the other front tire. So we're looking we're looking for one and zero. One and zero. Okay. So we gotta move them back a bit. So there's X, Y, and Z. Y means up and down. I don't think we've touched those. They should all be the same on the Y. Let's try Z. Now, touching these by slightly can change them drastically. So just be mindful of that. Any of the move at all? No. Which one do I change? Anyways, I'll be right back till I get them perfectly. And we're back! So as you can see here, we've got our car, beautiful car. And I fixed the wheels, so now they're right where they need to be. Okay, so once you have that, um, go up to Tools and press Rename Car and call it Warthog. Or whatever your car is. I'm doing this in reference to my Warthog car, so you can do it whatever your reference is. So now press X, yes, and then press on it, right click, or press on it again, and rename it to Warthog. Which not work because my thing unclicked. What dog? So now we're gonna back out of art, back out of that, and go right here and make a new folder and call it scripts. Uh, okay, that's not work. Scripts. And that. Make a new one in there called cars. And this is where we're gonna need our .con file. So this right here is our .con file. As you can see, Globex Super Villain Car. Um, that's everything that it needs. You can just go copy it yourself over there and put it in, and then rename it to whatever your car is going to be called. In fact, I'm going to go to Custom Text, and I'm going to make sure that it's working. Wart hog equals Warthog, because I'm really picky with the where the capitals are. Okay, but before we do that, before we do anything else, um, we're gonna need a new hack. So just copy that, copy, down, paste, custom car support, save, and make a new meta dot any and call it custom dot support custom car support in this actually we'll be right back
back. Sorry about that. We had company. Anyways, let's get set. So, in here, put a bracket. Warthog, or whatever you name your car. And space. Index equals, and then a random number. Now, I'm going to go back and see a reference from the Butter Apple mod. Custom car support. See, I use numbers in the 200s. I don't know what the span of numbers is, so I'm just going to use 240. File, save, close, and let's go back over here, tutorial, and it should all be set. But now we can't play our mod yet because we won't be able to find the vehicle. So, let's go back to the main directory. Art, um, no, not art. Scripts, missions, rewards. Control C or copy that. Go to mods, tutorial mod or whatever your mod's called. I have no idea. Scripts, new folder, missions. Open that, paste, rewards, and now it's going to be in level one. We're going to want to guild to sell it to us. Control C, copy and paste. Call this Warthog, Warthog, and this Warthog. Hundred fifty coins. File save. Uh, close. Okay, but now we still can't play our mod because if we try going into it in the phone booth, there's going to be no car there. So we we'll copy this. Back out of art. Make a new folder and call it front end. Open that. Another new folder called a Dyna Load. I know. Very weird names. And then open that. Make two new folders. One named cars and one named images. So in cars, paste that. We're gonna have it opened. Open close that. Open that there. There we are. Open that back up, go to images, then make a new folder called Cars 2D. And then open that. Okay. So now we're going to take references from the original ones of that. So Cars, Front End, Dynaload, Images, Cars 2D. And let's take, well, I don't, it doesn't really matter which one we take, but take four of those. Zen run mods, uh, tutorial, good files, scripts, you know, art, front end, download images, car studio, paste. And those two you can delete. Delete that. Rename that to Warthog, or whatever I say, Warthog, just rename it to whatever you need. And rename this to Warthog again, but with a D at the end to signify damage. And now we're going to get images. So, the way you get images is in here, you put your car to how you want it to be, and you right click, press save image. That's as easy as that. And now I'm going to save this to my slim root directory. Slim root directory. My Simpsons root directory. Mods. Tutorial. Files. Art. Front end. Download. Images. Cars 2D. And call it Warthog. Okay, Warthog, and then save another image since we don't have damaged textures to Warthog D. And now, as you can see, we got Warthog D and another Warthog. So we're going to open up Warthog D, or whichever one you want to do first, and rename this to Warthog D. Warthog import image, Warthog D. As you can see, we might not be able to see our picture, but it's there. Don't worry, it'll work. Um, so this might take a lot of trial and error to get it how you want it to be. I personally, I don't care how it looks in the phone booth. You guys might. I, I personally do not. So I just name it whatever. Warthog.png. Close it. Yes. And now, we should be set to test it. So, Lucas Simpson's hit and run mod launcher. Come on, open up my friend. I'm going to put it on the window so you guys can see how it looks, and tutorial, 
This one. Custom car support. Okay. Let's open that up. As you guys can see in the game here, we're going in. Enter, resume game, whatever. Okay, and now let's drive to Gil. If you guys are wondering why I don't have music on, it's because it's copyrighted and I don't want to make anybody mad by having a copyright on this. So driving here, do do do. By the way, if you guys were wondering what happened to uh, Simpsons hit, hit and Run Level Two, uh, I am planning on doing that at one point, but until that comes out, it won't be up for a bit. I haven't recorded it yet or anything. So oh, let's stop here. What's up, dude? Wish I had a dog with a saddle. Tough truck. Warthog. I have no idea why it has no wheels, but whatever. Uh, wow, I don't even have enough coins. Okay, well, Take let's that. let's get some coins. That's that's a shame that we don't have any coins though. I mean, come on now. We were so close. So we need to get to 150. Oops. Might as well get that vending machine. You call your name. Okay, well we're set. Let's go. Going back home. I mean, back to Gil. Hunter! As you can see, we got ourselves a warthog! Yay! If you're wondering why there's no sound, that's because you have to do sound manually. Um, that's a whole nother tutorial because it's actually, it's a little bit difficult to do. But yeah, you should have your own custom vehicle. And we're gonna let's, let's see how this looks in here. See, Warthog, I actually did it luckily, the perfect size. And yeah, that's it's perfect how it is. Um, if you're wondering why it looks so shiny, I think that there's a way you can uh that you can turn that off. How that looks. Oops. Has no damage textures, so there are no damage textures for it. There. Okay, so we want textures. We want depth. And see, if I would have saved that picture now, like, um, close this. I'm gonna close that. Right click, save image. Is that. Yada yada. And then right click again, save image. Is that. Yada yada yada. And now let's load it again. Um, I have the uh, unlock all vehicles on, so I won't have to go ahead and buy it again. Luckily, I mean, um, is a really helpful thing. Thank you, Lucas, for making that hack. So let's uh, find us here. What? Uh, some reason it didn't work, but you know, whatever. very popular today. Anyway guys, that's how you make a custom car in this game. Very, very simple. Like, not the easiest thing to do, but it's very simple to just get it to work. Anyway guys, if you like this tutorial and you thought it was helpful, very helpful, uh, leave a like and comment down below what you guys would like to see next in Simpsons and Um, there's some more topics that we're going to be going over in a bit. Uh, that, some of which include missions, Texture changing, which is one of the easiest. This is one of the more harder things to do, which is I have no clue why I did it before of uh, doing missions. But since I thought it was so easy and I have not seen um, a single tutorial about it, I said, why not? I might as well make the tutorial. And yeah.
So yeah, if you guys liked this video, thought the commentary was somewhat funny, um, and helpful, leave a like. And yeah, if you guys want to see something in particular in Season Run, uh, leave a comment and I will make a tutorial on how to do it. And yeah, I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye!